As it's Ryder Cup week, we thought we would come into the studios, use Trackman, go on the Marco Simeone golf course. Uh, we're going to take you through holes 16, 17 and 18. Uh, have a look at them, see what difficulties the players might face and maybe some opportunities as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are, 16th hole. Uh, it's a par four, 341 yards downhill by quite a lot, actually, 63 foot downhill. Um, we can see that there's a load of water on the right hand side. Um, so this to me feels like one of those holes where the guys are either gonna smash one down there, take a chance with driver, maybe try and knock it on, or it's you know an iron down the fairway and an easy wedge on. Today, because we're indoors and I can't lose any balls, I'm gonna hit driver. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to aim a little bit up the left, try and give myself a little bit of room um, for the water on the right. But let's see. We didn't come here to lay up. It's okay. Start up the left, fading back. Is it going to get over the water? Oh! I'll tell you what, there's a few boys playing this week who would pay some serious money for that. <laughs> Three, four, six, 23 foot away from the pin for Eagle. So, you know, if Europe just carry on doing that, I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine. So let's have a little look at the 17th hole. Okay, so 17, par three, 201 yards to the hole. Um, it is four foot uphill, so it's a pretty flat hole. Uh, slopes right to left by quite a lot surrounded by rough and bunker shorts, so you can't go short. So I'm going to go for a six iron. Again, long par three coming in. So it's, again, it's one of those make or break holes where par is probably a good score, but I'm sure when the guys are charged up, you'll probably see some, uh, some shots go pretty close. That's pulled a little bit. Probably not a bad spot, that little collection area. But well, it would be if the pin wasn't on the left, which unfortunately it is. So we're going to have to chip it up. It was the right club though. So left side of the green, obviously it all slopes down here. I imagine this is going to be a really, really popular spot. Um, so you'll probably see quite a few shots hit from down here. Uh, we've got 55 foot to the hole, five foot uphill. So a little 58, pop it up there and take my chances with the putt. Probably not my best but it does demonstrate how steep that slope is. So you might actually see some different shots from all the guys who are playing it. Um, if they don't want to get the high lofted wedge out and do exactly what I've done, they might get like a seven iron or an eight iron or even a putter out and try and run it up the hill. So, right, same shot. Let's try and be a bit more convincing this time. There we go. On the green, probably two putting for a five. Okay, so the 18th hole at Marco Simeone Golf Club. Obviously, it's going to be a bit of an iconic hole this week. Uh, it's a par five. It's 623 yards, which is stupidly long. Um, it's playing 37 yards downhill. So I imagine this is a hole where we're going to see a lot of massive drives with that huge drop off. Um, so yeah, smash driver, two big knocks to get it on up anywhere near the green, to be honest with you. So let's see if we can get anywhere close. Gonna have to absolutely give it some. It's hit pretty good, staying straight, it's not really cutting back. Oh, in that thick stuff that you probably want to avoid on this hole if you've got any chance of getting there in two. Ooh. 
So we've got 285 yards left to go um, out of the thick stuff. You probably won't see any of the boys hitting five wood out of the thick stuff this week, but as we're indoors, we can do. Uh, it looks like the ball's a little bit above my feet, so I'm gonna have to aim a little bit up the right. And the, oh, that green is very well protected by water on the left, bunker right. I imagine you'll see a lot of shots hit into that bunker on the right hand side as a bit of a safety shot. So let's try and aim for that. Started on a good line, is it going to stay there? Okay, not bad, I'll take that, take that. We've got a chance to chip it close and get the birdie to win the match for Europe. Okay, so we've got 38 yards, I've got a 58 degree wedge. Well, if we birdie it, win the Ryder Cup for Europe, go home. Pulled it a bit, is it gonna roll out? Oh, it's a testing putt. Testing putt, 25 foot. What's it gonna give me? One putt birdie, we've won the Ryder Cup for Europe, it's back on home soil. And that's it. So there's a real quick overview of the last three holes, 16, 17 and 18. Some really fun holes in there. I think 16 is going to be a great one watching the guys try and hit the green off the tee, smash some huge drives. Tricky par three where you'll probably see some balls come back to the players feet if they miss it left. And then 18, just a monster par five. Um, so yeah, hope you all enjoy the Ryder Cup and we'll see you soon.